The governor of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rafai, has said that the Nigerian president of Igbo extraction will only happen if the people of the Southeast stop threatening the country with secession. El Rufai said the regions that have produced presidents that ruled Nigeria achieved the feats by negotiating with people and political parties, stressing that politics has to do with negotiations and convincing others on why they should vote for the candidates. According to him, Igbo people will need to seek alliance with other regions if they want someone from their area to be the next president. The governor said, the governor said this, I beg your pardon, during a webinar organized by the African Leadership Group and tagged Developing a Viable Nation too. The event was hosted by Pastor Itwa Igudalu of Trinity House. El Rufai, while responding to a question about why someone of Igbo extraction has not become Nigerian's president yet, said, I don't think anyone has stopped the Southeast from going for the presidency. But you see, you cannot get the presidency of Nigeria by threats or by shouting victimhood. This is a political process and you have to engage other parts of Nigeria to convince them to support you. That is what everyone does. That is what Jonathan did in 2011. That is what Buhari did in 2015 and in 2019. That is what every president does. You don't stay in your corner. Abuse everyone in Nigeria and say, give me presidency. It is not going to happen. Presidency is not by allocation. It is the result of a political process. You join a political party. Your party negotiates with other parts of the country. And it happens. That is how it is done. And you cannot get it by sitting down or threatening secession. It won't work. I think the Southeast is going about it the wrong way. Because if you look at the APC, the All Progressive Congress, for instance, we do not have many footprints in the Southeast. According to him, Igbo will need to seek alliance with other regions if they want someone from their area to be the next president. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? El Rufai has just blown hot and carpeted the Southeast, you know, for demanding for presidency of the country come 2023. You know that the Hanese Ndibu and the majority of the political elites have been pushing for the Southeast presidency due to marginalization of the Southeast. El Rufai is now of the opinion that you cannot abuse everyone in Nigeria and demand presidency. Well, if that is the case, the question is, what exactly does the Southeast want? The call for agitation is out there. The call for agitation is loud, is out there. People are asking, you know, are calling for secession. People want Biafra. A lot of people want Biafra. And the question now is, if a lot of people are calling for Biafra, then what is the hope of the people? What is the hope of Nigerians? What is the hope of the people of the Southeast? It tells you that probably majority of the people in the Southeast are not even interested in Nigeria anymore. But the elites, the Igbo elites and um, the Ohanese seems to be interested in Nigeria and the presidency. So probably they are the ones who are pushing for it. And I'm sure El Rufai is actually referring to uh, Namdekano and um, 
all those who are calling for agitation in the southeastern part of the country. The question is, you cannot um, blame them. The marginalization is just too much. The treatment of the people of the southeast is just too um, out of the world. No region in this country has been treated in such uh, a way, in, with such disdain. And that is just the truth of the matter. We must tell ourselves the truth. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. You know, people need to be told the truth. It doesn't matter whose ox is God. The presidency today does not want to hear the truth because of the fact that they, uh, they don't care about how the Southeast feel about it. But the truth has to be said. So if El Rufa is now throwing tantrums at the Igbo saying that you cannot abuse everyone in Nigeria and demand presidency, then it tells you that they are not even talking about the treatment that they have given to the people of the Southeast. They are not even talking about it. They don't even care about it. They don't want to hear anything about it. All they want is that you just fix it, get it done. And things are not done that way. That is just the truth of the matter. Things are not done that way. You must show concern. You must show care to these people. If you don't show concern and show care to these people, how do you expect them to um, know that you actually feel their pain or you feel what they are going through? So you can see that there is a huge challenge or there is a serious issue on this particular um, area or in this axis. It is sad and unfortunate, but that is just the truth of the matter. So you can see now that there is not even agenda, there is no plan to uh, accommodate the people of the Southeast in 2023 elections at, at the federal level. So it tells you that to a very large extent, the presidency might just remain in the north if care is not taken. And that is why you see that majority of the people from the Southeast are not pushing or wanting to uh, have anything to do with Nigeria anymore. They are tilting towards the Biafra agitation. So to a very large extent, you might not blame them. So that's just what it is. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. The question now is, will Biafra be realized anytime soon? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Please endeavor to share this new story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening. Whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.